Hello and greetings from a sleepless night in Jakarta. On one hand sleepless because of this thunderstorm and on the other hand because of the upcoming flight. I'm on my way through wet Jakarta to the Soekarno Hatta International Airport, from where I will take a ride with Indonesian carrier Transnusa Airlines to Johor Bahru in Malaysia. Why? Transnusa is the only airline outside of China operating the Comac ARJ-21, a brand new Chinese-built single-aisle aircraft, and nowhere to be seen outside of Asia. A quick visit at the check-in counter in this beautiful Jakarta airport to verify my documents and within few minutes I was through passport control and security. My Transnusa economy class ticket doesn't come with any lounge access, but thanks to Priority Pass I may have a visit at the Sapphire Plaza Premium Lounge. The lounge is fairly modest and quite enjoyable. I didn't spend too much time in there, as I still want to check out the traffic on the apron and making sure I find my gate without a rush. By the way, neither Transnusa nor Priority Pass is sponsoring this trip, so all you see here is 100% my personal opinion and nerdiness. Gate 2 I have to find, so I still have a bit of a walk. This is my second attempt to fly the Comac ARJ-21. I will post a video of my first attempt, where I obviously will fly something else on my channel soon. So don't forget to subscribe. Soon the gate opened for an on-time boarding. Passporting it was today, which should give me a nice view of the aircraft. Besides the ARJ-21, Transnusa also operates the Airbus A320 in this fairly subtle livery. Driving past this other Transnusa ARJ-21 means I have seen every single ARJ-21 aircraft outside of China. <laughs> And here it is, my ride to Chorobaru. To me it looks almost like a blend of a McDonnell Douglas MD-90 and a Bombardier CRJ-700. If there was something like Tinder for aircraft. Something I didn't realize yet at the time of boarding is a issue that this aircraft has and which I will experience firsthand. Keep on watching and you will see what I mean. The welcome was inexistent, but this first impression proved to be misleading, as the crew was absolutely lovely, as it turned out later in the flight. The cabin is laid out in a 3-2 configuration and my seat today is 18 Alpha right at the rear emergency exit door and just in front of the engines. It seems there are only a handful of people flying to Malaysia today and they are all sitting in the front of the cabin. Well, this should have been warning number one about what's coming up. 
the moment I sat down, we were already being pushed back to the taxiway. And this is the view I very much wanted to have. Engine with wing in one picture. A flight attendant came up to me and offered me earplugs. Last time I was offered earplugs was on a B-29 bomber flight. I declined, as I didn't want to miss out on the engine sound. In hindsight, this was warning number two. Legroom, of course, was fabulous at the emergency exit row. While we taxi to the runway, I checked out this multi-faith prayer card and also the Comac ARJ21 safety card. Now I became aware that the people sitting in the front and the offered earplugs were more than just a hint. The engine noise here in the back was nearly unbearable. The last time I experienced such a tinnitus causing noise was on an IL-62 many years ago. Since I have no seat with a table in front of me, I find the table in my armrest. Let's see what else we have in the pockets. It's the prayer and safety card that we saw before, plus also a separate instruction for the exit seating. And also, there is a fairly limited onboard food for purchase menu. However, there was a wider food choice when booking it online before the flight. Above my head, I find reading lights and much appreciated individual air fans. This ARJ21 is equipped with 95 economy class seats, with surcharges applied for the seats closer to the front and the exit row seats. Let's have a quick look at the Comac ARJ21 bathroom. It comes with the standard amenities that most would expect on any aircraft, so I can keep the loo review at the minimum. It almost feels like I and my tinnitus have the whole aircraft for myself. The flight attendant walked all the way back to my seat with a tray full of food. I'm 99.7% sure I didn't order any food, as I kept my ticket costs at the minimum on this trip. But she confirmed that a pre-ordered meal is linked to my booking. Well, in that case, I don't say no. It was labeled fried rice meal and it contained this egg with rice and chicken. And I received a bottle of water from the lovely flight attendant. So how is the meal offered by Transnusa? Well, spicy as hell. This water was gone in minutes. I don't mind spicy, but this one was slightly outside of my comfort zone, at least for my Western European tongue. I quickly moved into a regular seat row to show you the legroom. It was okay-ish for such a short flight and considering I'm taller than 90% of the people. But the table I couldn't lower without moving my knees aside. I rather stick to the exit row seats despite being penalized with a surcharge. And since I'm my own lord of this noisy back of the aircraft, I can lay around on any of the empty seat rows, providing more space than I need. reached Malaysian land and it's time to get ready for arrival into Chorobaru while I provide my honest opinion about this flight experience. 
This aircraft probably is much more comfortable in one of the front row seats. And overall, it feels like a solid aircraft that doesn't have a cheap made in China feel, as some might expect. The interior felt of good quality and comfort, but sound insulation near the engine definitely is an issue from my perspective. The cabin crew was absolutely lovely and you could see they were enjoying their job smiling and engaging, especially when they notice an aviation geek like me who just flies Transnusa because of the ARJ21. And if you check out other aviation reviewers, you will see what I mean. Would I fly Transnusa Airlines again? I would say yes, not only because of their aircraft, but also because of the feel-good atmosphere they provided throughout the process, from the friendly check-in to the gate agents and certainly the lovely cabin crew. Welcome to Chorobaru, a place I would never have been if it wasn't for my hobby, doing aviation content while seeing the world a bit. I hope you enjoyed this flight review and consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't yet and leave a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye for now.